Hey guys, Arninja13 here, and today I have a very special command block contraption for you. What this does is it's basically a dehydration system in vanilla Minecraft, no mods whatsoever. So basically how it works is if I go into game mode S here, oh, well I'm starving. But anyways, if I go to game mode S here, you can see on my right side that my dehydration levels are slowly, oh my gosh, am I really on, just eat. My dehydration levels are swiftly dropping. Now, once that number gets to zero, I will pretty much die off instantaneously. But if I drink too much water, then, and that number gets too high, well then I also die because I'm drowning myself and I'm overloading my system. So a way you can do it and raise the dehydration levels is by sitting in one deep pools of water. Two deep, po deep, two deep pools of water won't work though because I'm theorizing if you're in two deep water or more, you're most likely swimming or something similar to that. And I don't think you're going to get a big gulp of water after you're just swimming around in water. But if you're in one deep, it's like you can go down and grab it, so it just made sense to me. And another way you can get your dehydration levels up is by taking water bottles and drinking them. And you can see on my right there that my th thing just got 200 more. So you can take these water bottles on the go if you're traveling in like planes or something. But I'm going to show you what happens if you overload this system. So the limit's 10,000. And you die. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay guys, I'm back here. And as you can see, my de when I died over there, my dehydration was set back to 5,000. So half of the maximum capacity. And here, I'll show you what happens if I go to game mode S, and it slowly decreases. So let me just speed up this process by setting that down to this number here. Set my HP of my dehydration levels to put it at 2500. So as you, as you can see, as this thing slowly reaches down, and once it gets to 2,000 or lower, any day now, any day now, it's not that difficult. You can do it. Okay, let's go now. You can see that water par particles start spawning around me as if I'm sweating now if this level goes down to uh, goes below 500 so you're gonna see that really soon here so if that level gets down to 500 then I get slowness plus the water particles and I gotta get to water quickly because that number is going to drop really soon. But I'm going to show you what happens when that reaches zero. Because the exact same thing as overloading your system happens. So. You pretty much die and all your things get reset. So that's pretty much how it works. Now I'm going to show you how the system works. Okay guys, I'm back here. And I pried open these glass panes over here just to show you the inner workings of the machine. It's quite compact and I like that about it. So over here I have this fast fill clock that's just placing redstone blocks here and it's triggering all these command blocks. So what is making the dehydration thing go down is this over here. So if I'm in survival mode, it's just going to remove one for my dehydration levels 
Now, for the one the one um deep hole thing, basically it's over here. I'm detecting if there is water in that position where the player is right here and there's an air block above them now if it finds this it's just going to add 10 to my dehydration so that's how that works for the water bottle it's kind of tricky to do but basically I just tested if there was glass bottle and a water bottle so if I drink the water bottle and right after that it turned into a glass bottle that machine will detect it and it will trigger this that will add 200 to my dehydration levels and that's how the water bottle thing works now for the killing system this command here is testing if my score is less than zero this one's testing if it's greater than 10,000 Oops. now if it finds this they're both triggering the same machine which goes up and triggers this command block to kill that person and set the, their dehydration levels back to 5,000. I should also mention that this is not really meant for multiplayer. It's a bit finicky and it's not going to work very well. But if you really want to, then it'll still work somewhat okay. But it's just not going to work. So, yeah. And for the particles I just have in here, it's going to give it when the two when the um, dehydration reaches below 2000 and this one's just gonna give me the slowness effect when it reaches below 500 so that's pretty much all there is to know here oh I should also mention that in regular world this dehydration over there it's not gonna show so what I have here is a system where if you stand on a lapis lazuli quickly and get off a big title will come up and it will tell you your hydration levels so if I go to game mode S and I do that it's 4,799 it's a bit glitchy though if you do something like this it's just gonna like flicker and yeah so that's pretty much the entire contraption that I made here so please like, comment, and subscribe and see you in the next episode